Hey, good evening, guys. I got your text message uh, to move forward, and um, um, unbelievable how timing is uh, just a crazy thing. The report from Smart Charts, which is due tomorrow, actually came in this evening, and um, so I wanted to jump, send this out to you. Jump on it, send it out to you right away, uh, because I, I think that the timing is absolutely excellent. Uh, first of all. Uh, let me go back to the dashboard and let me show you that first of all for Riverview. Okay, uh, here's the numbers that I really care about, and that's month supplies. And we actually had a drop in month supply. In other words, um, we have more people looking for houses in Riverview, um, 33579, than we have. Um, actually listings now that doesn't mean there's a shortage of listings if we look here we are at february of 29 is 312 new listings in that in your zip code that's a lot of new listings in one month uh, but the good news is february also had 157 new pendings and 132 closed sales in February. So what does that mean? Let's look at this chart. This is a snapshot of each February, not, not year to date, but February of 15, 16, 17, 18. That tells us how are we doing relative to normal markets in your zip code in the month of February. As you can see, we have just absolutely blown away the number of, of uh, contracts uh, for um, for February 2019, far exceeding anything that we've had over the last four years. Just closed, uh, excuse me, um, yeah, all pendings. We can see here that this is important. Uh, one important point here is that we had a slow couple of months. Now they're coming through with pendings. This will follow through in the next month as closed sales. So, We'll look to see the numbers when March comes out for those people that uh, that uh, actually made an offer and got a contract going. So uh, I'm expecting for your zip code that March numbers for closed sales is going to really be a, a, a huge number. All right, what does that mean at pricing? Because I also wanted to price it right for you. So let's take a look at the charts on that real quick. Here we go for um, 33579 the pricing trends and look what happened this is now different uh, this is the last 12 months prices jumped really nice now the, the chart looks like really huge it's not like it jumped 10% but it did jump 2% 2.1% uh, to be specific and that's over there so uh, we had a good bump in price in November, and I shared with you in a, a prior that November was an off month for a lot of zip codes, so I was pretty encouraged. I also mentioned in a prior video that I wasn't concerned by the dip for um, uh, December and January because that's a seasonal thing. And that I would be somewhat cautious or concerned if we had a dip in February because it, statistically that means that we have formed a trend and that was what I was waiting to uh, find out. What was our trend line? I was very concerned uh, in general if we didn't have a, a reversal of the trend line. What I did not expect. I did expect a reversal of the trend line. What I did not expect is that it would jump to uh, this kind of number. Let's take one more look. That was pricing trends. So let's look at market activity now. We care about that. And look, we had a good November of market activity. Uh, one of the reasons I wasn't overly concerned about the seasonal is that in at market activity, we actually did not have a negative trend at all. We had one big dip and then our trend. So, bottom line, I think that your decision to move forward is good. I was cautious to do it in March 
until we got these numbers, but now I'm very comfortable in saying that it's okay to move forward. My last step is to now see what effect that's had since the last time I pulled numbers for your comps um, and see, see where we stand. Last time I looked, I was thinking and leaning towards uh, 340. Um, I mentioned to you that a good market would probably allow us to go up to 345. I'll check it and see if there's still some room. Maybe we can go to 349, but I don't know that yet. So hold on to your britches. We're in for a pretty good ride, and I will keep you updated as soon as I have more data. You guys rest well tonight. I'm happy to bring some good news.